Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Brotato. We are jumping in again and this time, we played as Chunky last time, very difficult character, but this time we're jumping in as Old. <laughs> I love the fact that he's just called Old. We're going to have a slightly smaller, or actually pretty pretty much quite smaller uh, map size, less enemies and they're going to move a bit slower. Moving slower sounds good to me. I think I'm going to start out with a double barreled, I always like that. Ooh, that, this is weird. The map, you can see the whole map in one go. That's really strange. It's kind of an interesting idea for a character. I wouldn't have expected to see a character that messes with the size of the arena. But yeah, yeah I respect it. I also absolutely love the sawn off. Very good. We do have some harvesting as well. Maybe we want to play into the harvesting a little bit. Um, There you go, some more harvesting there. Um, And we'll go with some more luck as well. That sounds good to me. And... I don't know, maybe we'll go with, like, some harvesting, some attack speed, and try and get some more shotguns, maybe? It's always hard to, like, set out to make a build in this game. You can't really choose what you're gonna get. You can influence it a little bit, but you don't want to spend all your money on re-rolling to get a specific build when something else is offered right to you. Um, but I do like to try and generally go for something that fits within the play style of the character that I'm playing as. I don't know, I feel like shotgun, old guy, makes sense. Um, throw some crit chance here. Go some life steal. Like some good stuff here, but I'm gonna re-roll and hope for something a bit better. Um duh, 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 duh. I'm gonna go with both of these. I know that it reduces our range damage, so that's gonna be a little tricky early on. But getting uh healing on picking up materials, even at an 8% chance is huge. I think more ways to heal to be good. We do also start with only 10 HP as this guy. Oh god, I've got myself stuck already. That range damage is, is showing its true colours. We needed that. Losing that was uh, pretty bad. Oh my god. This guy's tricky. Oh, I almost died. <laughs> okay, attack speed again, like I said. Damn, I was really hoping I could get shot, uh, shotguns here. Knockback is really good. We'll take that. We'll also take that. I wonder if we can get some accuracy upgrades in this game. I've not seen any yet, but they'd be pretty useful. Yeah, my damage is definitely problematic, but getting that knockback upgrade, I think is going to be the thing that saves us here. We don't have the insta-kill trees. I'm so used to it. The last few episodes, we've been getting the uh, ability to insta-kill trees so often, but now I just expect it. Bad. Yeah, we really need significantly more damage than we have right now. Holy. We do not have a lot at all. Uh, range and attack speed is very good. We'll lock that in. We'll grab that again. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. We're dealing, like, no damage to these enemies now. Like, look at this. They're, they're literally, like, tanking shots. We're going to have so many enemies on the table. Like, we do have a reduced amount of enemies and reduced speed, which is nice, but... Is that going to be enough? Oh, God. Oh, we're dead. We're dead. We're definitely dead. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll play it back as this dude. I, um... I didn't think it'd be so difficult. We definitely need more damage early on. Getting another shotgun or a pistol or something. I should have just taken the medic gun or whatever. I think it was necessary to do so. I really should have done. As much money as I can. Um, go harvesting early on. 15% chance to deal one damage uh, to a random enemy when picking a material. Yeah, we'll take that. And we'll also take... Do, nah, we don't really want engineering, do we? Let's try and re-roll for something better. There you go. Get Take an SMG. And we'll, uh, we'll, we'll go ahead with that. Shotgun and SMG sounds pretty good. I want to do like a full shotgun build, but maybe we'll get that later on. We can always recycle the stuff that we're currently holding in place of uh, moth thematic or fitting um, items later on. But I think only having one gun into like round four is just a terrible idea. <laughs> Considering sometimes you can have six by round two. Or round three, should I say. Yeah, this is much better. This is much better. Um... We'll take max HP here. Take attack speed. There's another shotgun, so we're getting there. Um, I'm, I'm going to lock that in. I, I like the idea of that. 
I wonder if there's items you unlock in this game, or if it's just characters you can unlock. I'm not actually sure. I'm not sure if the full suite of items is available right now. Of course, this game is early access, so it doesn't have a ton of a ton of items, but it does have a good amount. It has enough for the game to be quite replayable. And the build diversity is huge, so... Like, with the different stats you can take. And it, it doesn't seem like there's one, at least so far, it doesn't seem like there's one overwhelmingly, like, like stat that, that pushes all the others down. Speed is good here. Chance to double the drops is good. We'll also take that as well. I think we're pretty good with the amount of weaponry we have right now. Old guy with a nail in his head is looking lovely. The double shotgun's helping a lot. Okay, get a little bit less healing from those trees now, which is bad when I keep getting shot at and taking the damage on the head, but otherwise we're fine. Double tree, give us a ah, oh, just two, just two fruit. We're looking for the uh, item drops. Come on now. How could you betray me like this? How could you? Okay, nice. Um, We do start with slightly less speed. I'm going to take this, even though it currently lowers our damage, because I think we could play into that. We'll go crit chance. Life steal, life regen. Okay, we'll take that. We'll take that. I realize it gets rid of some of our harvesting that we've been kind of playing into, but then um, I feel like having the regen in this small map could be super useful, regardless of the fact that the enemies are slower. But yeah, getting our speed up there and getting damage for that is going to be really nice. So I want to be increasing my speed regardless. So getting a bonus for it seems useful. Yeah, the mines seem like they're going to be really good. Especially if we can level in engineering up a little bit. Nice. Beautiful. Good amount of money there. Um, going more harvesting. Going more max HP. Another SMG sounds good to me. More crit chance is good too. We'll grab that. Good to go. Yeah, I wonder if there's a way to, like, if they have multiple of the mine items, I wonder if more appear. Or if they just appear more often. I'm not sure how that'll work with the mines. But yeah, they seem to, like, play pretty randomly. I guess we can kite around them if we want to. But I feel like it's better to just, with a small map size, leave them where they are and they'll hit an enemy at some point. They don't do a ton of damage either yet, so... We don't need to play around them much. Need a bit more lifesteal and stuff, I think. We're a little bit lacking in that department right now. Ooh, we just killed a thousand enemies. Was that a thousand or was that ten thousand? That was a, I don't know. I'm guessing it was a thousand. Uh, so we have HP regen there. Another SMG here is lovely. Uh, more lifesteal is good. I don't want to go for anything melee based. I realize we're in close proximity, but I, I feel like whenever I take a melee weapon, I try to rely on it, and it's it's never a good look for me. It always ends up in a bad way. Maybe just staying down here is the, the play in this small map. Pick a corner, stick to it. Sometimes a tree spawns directly on top of you. That works out just nicely. And it means the mines are spawning in pretty good places, too. I'm not sure actually where I am influences where the mines spawn, but it seems to. It seems to spawn somewhere within my vision radius, like, sort of, within my immediate vicinity. Okay, nice. Beautiful. That was a really good way for money. Plus, luck is good. Um, range damage and attack speed. Let's go with that. Max HP, luck, HP regen, good, good. all that's good stuff. Okay, we're on to the big guys now. Big guys are going to be a little trickier, as you can tell as well, especially considering the amount of damage we're doing to them right now, which ain't a lot. I think we really need to be taking them out at a distance. I did just throw away quite a lot of damage, but I took range damage in its place, so that should help. I think range damage is better than overall damage. I don't exactly know. I should maybe check up on that and find out exactly how that plays. 
I don't know right now. Oh, gosh. Ah, bugger. Okay, we'll do another runner's old. One more runner's old. Definitely the one of the trickier characters I've played so far. I think um, the fatty boy that starts with extra HP is probably the hardest, just because his incredibly low speed makes him very, very difficult um, and not super versatile. But this guy with a small map, it's, it's tricky. You kind of need to pick a corner. Or you need something that's going to like spread some AoE about. I think the launch would be really good on this. Maybe go with dodge. Um, knockback's really good here. Life steal. <clears throat> I love how our character looks right now. Brilliant. These guys are not having as much speed is really nice. I think we start with lower speed as well though, so it's not a big difference. Definitely more weaponry again. That was our crux last time. Damn it, I want to destroy the tree. I missed it. Armor. Dodge. Turret seems like it could be really good in this mode. We'll take the medical gun as well. Yeah, turret, just because there's not much space in this area, the turrets seem like they could stack up real well. This one's only doing five damage, but it's better than nothing. We're only doing five damage with our medical gun as well, actually. Or is it ten? No, it's ten. Okay. That's pretty good. And that does heal us a little bit as well, so... We don't really care about the damage so much as we care about the, uh, the healing that we can get off of it. But yeah, I never get really got clocked on to how good turrets are going to be in this area. Um, life steal, thank you. More tree spawns, more attack speed. I'll take a knife just in case and I'll lock that in. Just in case something gets awfully close. But yeah, I'd love to see more turrets. I think they could be amazing. But the more tree spawns, now that is something that could be really good for us. Honestly, yeah, the knife is really good. I maybe should have taken melee a little earlier. I was kind of straying away from it to start with. I didn't think it'd be that good on this area with it being so small. But no, it's working out quite nicely. Beautiful. Yes, we will take that. Mod dodge, thank you. Um, we will take that, we'll take that. Good, good. I love all the stuff stacking up on our character. We're looking great. Definitely try and take some engineering if we can as well. It's not super high priority, but I'd like to grab more turrets when plausible, so I think beefing them up a little bit would be nice. I wonder if there's any items that are like give you three copies of the next item you pick up sort of thing. That'd be pretty cool, considering you can get multiple copies of items. Tree spawns are here. Didn't manage to get the trees. It's fine. Speed, please. Um, attack speed, yes. Another knife, yes. I'll take the cat tech club as well. Just, just to try and fill out our suite of items right now for the harder waves. I know we're not going to be hitting our melees a lot, but like I said, it's kind of backup. It's kind of there as a just in case. Grab these trees real quick. There's another piece of loot. Thank you. We need to bolster our maximum HP as well, really. Maximum HP is bad right now. A lot and a lot of XP, though. So we've got six seconds left. I need to keep an eye on that as well, the timer. Kind of informs how I play and where I'm playing to a little bit. XP gain and melee damage, I'll definitely take that. Um... Range damage, I'll take that. Pick up radius. Elephant's pretty good as well. Melee damage and crit. I don't want to take for max HP. Let's reroll and try and get something better here. Um, ooh. Nah, that's not super good. We'll take this. And we'll lock that in. Yeah, definitely the, uh, the max HP that we need at the minute. 
We've seen not a lot of the max HP items we've seen though have got pretty big downsides to them, so it's kind of hard to want to take them. There's a tree. Oh god. Very little room to maneuver here, and uh, we're taking a lot of damage. Those are dashing enemies. We kind of just got to hope we can kill them before they finish their dash animation. That seems to be the only way to survive those. Which is kind of funny. Seven seconds left. Be enough. And you can die in an instant in this game, so... Can't really say that, but... Good amount of money, that wave. Um, Extra crit. Extra armor is pretty good. I don't really use armor that much, but it seems useful. Pick up radius and harvesting is good. Attack speed and range is good. Another cacti club. And take it. Cacti club seems pretty good. Okay, we're on to the big boys now. They're not dying super quick, I'll be honest. But I think it's enough. I think it's enough. What? I don't even know what hit, I don't even know what hit me then. One second. Okay, I think now we should probably go and um, oopsie, I didn't mean to retry there. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Return to the menu. We're gonna try the next character, which seems awesome to me. Lucky. This guy has less XP gain and a lot less attack speed, but lots of luck and a 75% chance to deal one damage to a random enemy when you pick up a material. Oh god, sorry, my bad. I kind of burped there. This seems like it's gonna be really good. I'll take slingshot to start. I feel like the XP gain is going to be problematic, but overall, I feel like this is going to be a really, really fun um, character to play as, especially with the material thing. If you can get pickup radius going, I think that's going to be awesome. We already got the slingshot bouncing shots between enemies and the materials hurting them on top of that. Um, take landmines. I should probably take that as well. How much, how valuable is armor? I feel like it could be really good, but only once you get it above like 25%. Seems like you need a lot of armor to do that, so I don't know. But yeah, we want to be taking as much luck as we can here. Getting as many drops as we can. Taking anything that increases our ability to get uh, materials. Yeah, just walking around and finding materials is a good way of killing stuff. Um, let's go with max HP. Let's go with a shuriken. Grab that. Let's lock that in, because that's pretty good. I like the scythe in our head here. Beautiful. I love it when you actually see it kill the enemy. It's just doing 18 damage right now as well. That's really good. But for these weaker enemies, that's a lot. And the fact that the enemies killed via this drop more materials is kind of crazy. Grab that. XP gain. We are looking for that. We'll lock that in as well. We'll lock that back in. Eh, actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let that one go. I want to keep the turret going, but I want to, I'll let that one go. Beautiful. It's a big grouping of enemies you pick up on the materials, which kills them all. A extra item there as well. And you go and pick up all the material of all the enemies that got killed by that last wave. And it's kind of a never-ending cycle, really, at least while the enemies have low HP. Once it gets a little bit later on, I don't think it'll be as consequential, but right now it's kind of feeding itself. Nice. Range damage, yeah, we'll take that. Um, crit chance, we'll take. XP and melee damage, we'll take it. It takes off a little bit of our luck, but we've, we've got so much already, I don't really care. We'll take the turret. I'll lock that in. I definitely need more, more weapons coming up here. They're doing an okay job right now, but not a great job. Let's 
staying in the fray of it's working out so much. I'm surprised the shuriken, like... Oh, do, I was just about to say, I'm surprised it doesn't pierce, but I think it actually does. Just gotta try and get as many materials as we can here. Stay alive. There you go. That's a lot of stuff as well there. Um, yes, that sounds good. Crit chance sounds good. That that would be fantastic if we can get that next wave. Um, I'm gonna take the knife and the scissors here just to have a bit more damage. We'll take that as well. Why not? We'll try and get that vigilante ring. Well, if that were, if that's what it was called. Um, as soon as we can. Yeah, with the staying enemy's faces, trying to pick up the materials, melee weapons actually kind of work out pretty well for this guy. I'm liking the fact that we've got two things to counteract our lower leveling speed as well already. That's really nice. That saves us a lot of hassle. We can get our stats going a little bit faster. Yeah, as you can see, the material thing doesn't matter as much anymore. It's still doing good damage, but it's not killing stuff in one shot as it was early game. Oh, still a lot of materials there. It's good stuff. Um, attack speed will go with that. Damage will go with that. And we'll definitely take that. There you go. So yeah, so we're just going to gain 3% damage for every wave we complete now, which isn't crazy. But it could, it could stack pretty quick. We got it a little bit late in the game for it to be super good. But I still think it's very worthwhile. Especially because it's 3% like base damage like across the board. I just wish we'd find um, pickup radius. Pickup radius would be sick. It's so useful. Just for damage but also just to get more materials. I I took a risk going for that tree there. It was not worth it. Okay. Things are still dying real fast, though. We're getting tons of material as well. 12% damage is really good here. Alloy. Melee damage, range damage, crit. Ooh, that's really good. Um, We'll take another shuriken as well. Why not? I still think, like, at the minute, our, our biggest enemy is uh, the fact that our weapons aren't great. We've not got enough, we've not got all six yet, and they're not upgraded, so we're not dealing, an all, uh, like, an awful lot of damage. Everything else is decent. We don't have a lot of um, HP regaining ability, but I don't think that matters super, uh, like, a super ton right now. A super ton. The mines are very nice. They're not killing anymore, but they're still useful. Oh, there's a tree up here. Yes, double items. Nice. So I've got 20 seconds to go on this wave. This is wave 8, so this is, this is one of the marquee waves of testing our abilities. I don't mind doing a little worse on this one, as long as we don't die. So that's another item. Awesome. I'm trying to get the trees whenever I can. 5% damage every 5 seconds until the end of the wave. Oh, yes. 25% ex explosion size. 5% crit chance, 5% dodge. All good. More damage. 6% armor while standing still. Um, We'll take that. Take that. I rolled it for no reason, really. We can lock that in there and lock that in. Both of these seem good. But yeah, we start off slightly lower damage here, but every five seconds we're going to gain damage. After I think it's like 15 seconds, we already gain back what we lost, and everything after that is going to be a bonus. I think it's a pretty good way to do it. We start off a little weaker, but we get there in the end. I think wave nine is always like not a super hard wave anyways. Like it's not, I'm not going to say I, I've definitely won this wave, because that's just stupid in this game. <laughs> There's no way I could know that. But... I think it's pretty good. Also, the mine's explosive radius there. Oh, this is pretty bad.
Okay, that was tricky. I am taking, yeah, I am taking risks I should not be taking here. <laughs> that was a lot of fun though. Okay, I think we stick with this character. I really like him. Unfortunately, I doubt this time we're going to have quite as much luck with getting our uh, XP gains back up to where they were. I'm really hoping this time around we get um, some, some pickup radius though. I think that'll be huge. That enemy spawned and immediately died. Beautiful. Well, there's one XP gain bonus. We'll lock that in. We'll buy that. I don't, the scissors seem really bad. I'm not sure what the gimmick of the scissors is. They do not seem very good at all. Maybe they are just there to be a bad weapon. Three extra item early on. That's good. Good, good, good. Take that attack speed. Take the melee damage. Take the medical gun. Take some more scissors. Lock that in. Good stuff. So I've got to remember that picking up materials is going to hurt everything. I'm kind of forgetting that at the minute. Don't know if we're going to manage to get level 3 here. Oh, we just missed it, look. So close. Engineering. Gambling token. Let's take that. Take that. Okay. Actually got a decent suite of weaponry here. I, I'd like to get rid of my scissors, but otherwise I'm pretty happy. Keep this ball rolling. Just need to get a bit more XP gain. Ooh, we've managed to destroy a tree there that I didn't even notice. Nice. Oh, hello. Why are you again? It's another free item for us. There's the pickup radius we're looking for. Awesome. Speed is good. Max HP. Ooh, a hammer. We'll lock that in. Yeah, I think we'll just lock that in and... Uh, Go for the next one. I've not seen that uh, before. But yeah, we finally got pickup radius. While it's only 30%, it's not a ton. It's still going to help. I'm dealing a bit of damage, especially when we run through crowds like that. I like it. It's very good. Very good indeed. Keep taking them out. Attack speed. Handcuffs. Melee uh, damage. Melee. Uh, ah. No, we don't want to take that. Excuse me? Oh, right. Okay. Thank you. We'll lock that in as well, because I'd like to get 8 max more HP. But yeah, hammer? Not used to hammer before. But seeing as though it's quality 3, I'll try it out. It could be pretty good. I think that's the thing that just hit for 25. 64. Okay, okay, no, no, no. This thing, this thing hits very hard. It is a melee weapon, so it's not going to get a ton of use, but that's pretty good. Something we haven't really had as this character is any luck upgrades, which get multiplied, so... Although, I don't even know if you need many past 100. I don't know what, what it's doing for you after that point. Probably not a ton. Yeah, I'm definitely noticing the pickup radius making a difference here. Really nice. Soften up our targets. Range damage will take another hammer. Hell yes. Uh, let's get rid of this and take that. 
want to lock that in again. Probably should have taken the health first before the hammer, but hey, uh, it's done. What it, what's done is done. So much damage. Wow. Item there, lovely. The only thing is, obviously, with it being a very high damage melee weapon, it does not swing very often. So, might be good for the bigger enemies, but for these smaller groups, it's not it's not ideal. It's kind of overkill. That was close. Oh, bugger. <laughs> we'll do another run as this guy. Damn. Smack, smack. Beautiful. Ooh. Burning spreads to all nearby enemies seems really good if we can get a way to do burn damage. Right now, we don't have a way to do that. But I'm feeling like if we get a way to do that, that could be a very, very cool build. Getting it early means I kind of have to take the opportunity. God damn, yeah, the pickup radius, you notice it once you lose it. Really horrible not having it. Uh, elemental damage, we'll take that. Burning spreads times two. I don't really know if that does anything for us. I'm just hoping we get like a torch or something here. This the, the slingshot's pretty good at the minute. I'm I'm hoping that we can get a run when we get multiple slingshots because they seem really good with the ability to like bounce to another target. I love the running sounds in this game. They're so satisfying. Okay, not a ton of kills there, but did decently. Extra speed, maybe. Trees die in one hit is always good. A rock is good, but the cooldown on that is insane. I'll take the rock. Why not? Doesn't seem like a great idea, though. I suppose it's just a last resort, isn't it? And it can hit multiple enemies at once, so that is good. Kind of focus more so on the materials damage, to be honest. Try and make sure we're picking up as many of them as possible to deal mass damage. Kind of works out quite well, to be honest. Even if it takes two hits on a material. Not too bad. 91. Max HP, thank you. Oh, still no fire. Got another one of those. I'm taking them all just in case. Spawns a turret that shoots flames. Okay, there you go. We've got it. We've got it. I'm going to take the SMG for now to get us through to that. But we've got something going now. We've got three times fire spread, which I'm guessing just increases the radius each time. Um... And now we have the ability to actually create turrets that set things on fire. And we've got a little bit of elemental damage going. Not a ton, not a lot, but uh, enough. We should have to survive this wave and get enough to actually buy the wrench, which I think we're going to do. We also need a bit of uh, a way to heal or something as well. We're lacking that a little bit right now. Oh, it's one of these dudes. I didn't even see that guy. Damn it. Missed him. Anyways, we buy the wrench. Uh, we take engineering, because we're going to be taking this. Oh, and there's a turret as well. Incendiary turret too. We'll take that. Okay. This wrench is a weapon. I don't know how exactly it spawns turrets, if it just spawns the one. Yes, everything's just setting on fire. I think it just spawns the one, to be honest. Maybe if I upgrade it, it could spawn more. We can kind of kite things around it right now. It just sets everything on fire. That's so good. Yeah, 
careful of my health right now. Max HP is probably the best way to go here. Another one of these. Burning activates. Oh my god, we got some good stuff here. We definitely buy that. We definitely buy that and we lock that in. And we buy that as well. Okay, it understand the game understands what we're doing now. So now there's two flame turrets about. Double items there, lovely. I, I can't believe how many of the fire spread items we have. That's another item, holy shit. Like, it must just mean that it spreads either a lot faster or a lot larger of a radius. I'm not exactly sure. But this is a fun build we got going on right now. I like this. The, the only thing is the fire's not doing a ton of damage yet, but we'll get there. Recycle that. Recycle that. We'll take that. Um, plus dodge, I think. Burning activates faster. Attacks have a 25% chance of applying burn. The game knows what we're doing. It understands the assignment. We can get another one of these. We have five of these now. My goodness. Um, elemental damage will take that. Lock that in. It understood the assignment. Now our bullets can spread burning too. Oh god. Please don't die really early on in this wave. The big guy just hit me pretty hard. Unfortunately, both of our fire turrets are like in a really bad spot. They just spawn randomly each wave. So sometimes you get lucky with them, sometimes you don't. That's another thing we're missing at the minute. We're kind of missing healing. I just got hit pretty hard there. Fruit there, thank you. But, good thing is, pretty much everything's on fire. Cycle that. We will certainly take that and re-roll. We'll lock that in because I want that. We're good to go. Yeah, turret spawned in a bad spot again here. Right, we got through wave eight. That's the hard one. Wave nine is okay. It's not easy, but it's not as hard as the eight. I don't think. Saying that, I did just get hit pretty hard. I'd like that health pickup, please. Game, game. Can, I, can you let me get near that health? Can I get anywhere near any of this HP? Please. No! Losing that run was devastating. Anyways, that was a lot of fun. I really want to do a build like that again. I hope you guys did enjoy. Maybe not the best character to do that build as, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.